Hey everybody, Amy here. Um, I am, as I'm working or finishing up my altered book, my first altered book, I've got some finishing touches to do to it. I wanted to prepare um, a new one so that when I'm done with this, I can dive right into this. So that's what I'm working on today. I should be doing housework or yard work. I did water my flowers and plants this morning, but that's about as far as I got. I did do some dishes. Anyways, um, so before I get back to that, um, I'm going to work on getting this prepped for my new altered book. And I chose this one, which is a sewn book. Um, I watched Lori Marie Jenkins quite a bit, and she's the one who got me started on these altered books and as you can see want one that is sewn with signatures and I've already gone through the center of each signature and pulled out two pages now as I go along I'm going to be pulling out more but for now um, like I said what I did was I pulled out two pages from each signature and I'm gonna keep these and then in the center signature, I pulled out three. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the front and the back of my book um, just so it, it remains strong. And I want to go ahead and probably glue the first one, two, three pages to the cover. That's going to be my start. Um, actually, I'm probably going to have to let's see here. Let me think about this a minute. I'm going to want to glue one, two pages for sure. Here's the start of a new signature. So yeah, I definitely want to glue that one together like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got my little cup of water. And I have my Mod Podge here. So I'm kind of at a weird angle. I try to tilt it so you guys can see, but you get kind of the point of the whole thing. Um, go ahead and just start with the very first page. And I'm just going to glue a generous amount. I am no expert at this. This is only my second book. I'm learning as I am watching Lori's videos. Um, if you guys haven't checked her out already, please do so. And then I'm just going to close the book and pick up that page. And the reason why I'm doing this now, guys, is so that it has time to dry while I'm finishing up some tags and some other items in here. Okay, so the corners didn't get it very well. Go ahead and add a generous amount. I want to support the front and the back of the book. And then probably start in the center as far as my first layout. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. There's so many different things you can do. And if I have time to play every single day, oh, that would be amazing. For a while, I lost my mojo. I didn't feel like doing any crafting. And then all of a sudden, I got it back. Okay, so. If I get wrinkles in it, that's fine. That looks pretty good. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got two pages down, but here's the start of a signature. 
So I want to put that page over as well. Um, so I've got three pages that are supportive. And I may end up gluing more. Who knows? You just never know. I kind of want to put like a hidden drawer in this one. In this one, I did a hidden compartment in the back. Um, so in this one, I, I would like to do like a hidden drawer or something like that. We'll see. Like I said, this is only my second book. Um, I am no expert. I'm just learning. But I thought I would just take you guys along with me while I start this. And like I said, you're going to want to watch Lori Marie's videos because she teaches this. She's an artist and she's got way so many tips and ideas and okay so I've got three there I may end up having to do four I don't know I think that's good I might put some like duct tape here to support that or some washi tape okay now I'm gonna go to the back of the book and do the same thing okay so we've got one two and then I'm gonna take this one over to make it three Okay. So I'm just going to get this. This is an older book, um, but not quite as vintage as I would like. I would have liked to have found one with more yellowed pages like this. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but this one was larger and it had great signatures and the pages were a little bit, um, yellowed, not a whole lot, but a little bit, as you can see, not quite like this, <laughs> but it'll do, it'll be fine. Okay. So I've got two down for the first one, I should say. Definitely want to put more on the edges. If it drips over to the front, that doesn't matter to me because I will be altering the covers, the front and the back covers. It's only going to get worse as I use paints and mediums and all of that. Okay, one more page over. So that's three glued down in the front to the cover, three glued down in the back. I've removed two signatures out of each signature from the center. And then from the very center of the book, I've removed three signatures. Now, that's just what I did. Um, I may not, I may have to get rid of some pages as I go along. This stack might not be enough. There's probably about 30 pages maybe out of here. Um, but this is a book with 275 pages. And in the end, you're only going to end up with about 13 pages anyways. 13, I think I've got more than that in this one. Um, we'll flip through that another time though. Okay, so I'm going to get cleaned up. Um... One of the suggestions Lori has is to sit on it. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wax paper in between and put some heavier books on top of it and just leave it sit for um, a couple of hours till it gets sturdy. And then I will be back. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm back real quick. Um, I've got two sheets of wax paper here. So I'm going to put one just fold it in half. I'm just going to put one here in the crease. You can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Close the book. And then I'm going to put one in the front here. 
and close the book. And then I've got these two thick dictionaries and almanac. I'm going to set that right on there and I'm walk away, get some more housework done, and I'll be back. Okay, so after doing some um, more housework and fiddling with my water heater because for some reason that didn't want to work today, but I finally reset it and it finally worked, <laughs> I am going to get back to the altar book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the center here. Again, I'm going to find my center signature, which is this one right here. And I'm going to do some page prepping in here. So um, I want to find the next signature up. So this is one signature and this is one signature. And what I want to do is glue these two together to kind of support that. From what I've learned, that's the way to go. So cover up this next sewed area. Okay. So again, I'm going to get my Mod Podge. generous amount on this page including the spine Really good. And I'm gonna close up. And these are the two pages that are glued together. Let me get this out of the way. I'll put a new sheet down here. Now, as you can see, I've glued two signatures together. Now, I might go ahead. All right, we're going to try this again. My camera cut out on me. Okay, it looks like we're rocking and rolling. So, I like I said, I've got these two pages down. This one is kind of starting to rip a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and carry this next page over as well. Just to make it thicker. You know where this is leading. I'm going to want to do a two-page spread before I'm done with my other book. I don't know if that's taboo or if that's okay. I think it's okay to have two books going at once. But... <laughs> My first book really just needs um, some fine details. Not like it's a whole. This is really soaking in. So I want to get it good. Okay. Go ahead and close my book. I think I'm going to start out with just a two-page spread here, nothing fancy, just to kind of get back into the mode of working in an altar book again. Okay, so now there are three pages glued together here. So now I need to decide which way I want to work first. Do I want to work to the left first or to the right first? Um... I still want to do the drawer thing, so I'm thinking about leaving the back for that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work my way 
to the left, which is the front of the book. All right, so like I said, I've got three pages here, and I want to do the same and glue three pages here. Okay, so I think I'm doing this right. I want the first layout to be on a really strong page, close to the center, but it's more to the front. Front, center. Front and center. <laughs> and guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, this is only my second altered book. Um, all I know is if you want to learn, you got to go check out Lori Marie's channel because I am just want you to come along and play with me. I'm not really teaching anything more than what I've learned from her. Everything I've learned from her. <laughs> okay, so there's two. Now, like I said, I want three pages. So we're going to do one more. Just want to make sure I get a generous amount so they stay together good. I do notice in my first book I did not use a lot of Mod Podge in some places. There's a lot of things I did wrong in the first book. I'm hoping to do better this time. I definitely am not going to be perfect. It's probably going to take me about 100 books to get that way, and I don't think I can do that many in a lifetime. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just fold this in half and reuse it. So here are my three pages here on the right. I'm sorry, the left. Okay, so this will be one spread right here. And then these three pages on the right. So I really can't help myself, and I want to just start playing. Um, <laughs> so I think while I have the Mod Podge out, and these are wet anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some um, book pages to the back, to the background. So... That's the way my book is. Sorry you're seeing it tilted. So I'm going to use these really old yellowed book pages. And I'm just going to start tearing them up. Into pieces. Okay, now I'm going to break them down even more. Some of them I'm going to take off this. So you get the point. I'm going to go ahead and tear some of these and I'll be back. Okay, so I have... Um, ripped up some of these older book pages. You can see the difference in the color. Um, the book that I'm altering is still fairly old. Uh, 1975 is the copyright on this one, but this one I think was like in 1963. So it's pretty brittle and everything, which is good. That's what I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and I'm just going to put these all over both pages for my first spread. Um, oops, I'm dripping here. Start up here. Doesn't matter where you start. I'm just going to do this all over. Um, I don't like that one. Go 
of pages. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing. And I prefer the teared look. We're just going to go right over that because I didn't like that. Just going to overlap. And just continue to do this through both pages. And then I'll be back. Okay. So I'm back, just kind of showing you the difference between the two pages. I'm down to this little corner here. Um, here I overlapped it a little bit up here. I think I'm going to do the same down here, just to add a little bit of extra support in the center there. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did here, over here on the right. I'm doing 100%. <laughs> I just, I really enjoy this part of it. Um, and I can't wait to add paint. So I'm letting like the, letting it overhang a little bit because I can rip that off later after it dries. I just keep overlapping. I do like the words all going the same way, even though you're not going to be able to read them. It's all going to be covered up with paint and images and that kind of stuff, which is the fun part. It's the part I can't wait to do, but you have to go through certain steps to get um, the result that you want. And I found that in the first one, I was either rushing or, yeah, I don't know, rushing to get the focal point on where I kind of chintzed on the backgrounds. And in this book, I want to do the opposite. I want to take more time with the backgrounds. not rush through them. I'm going to finish this up. Charged by battery. And uh, I'll show you when I get down to the edge. Well, I could not. I'm almost running out of book pages. Zoom in a little bit. And I want to stick with the same <laughs> set of book pages, but I don't know if that's going to work. So, my goal is just to make sure I cover up all white space. There, looks like I did it. Hopefully the camera is still rolling. Yay. Okay. Ooh, I forget how much fun this is. I haven't done a layout like this in a couple months. All right, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Go pick out my acrylic paints and some alcohol ink. And I'm going to do a cool background that I learned from Lori Marie. And we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, guys, I'm back. It takes me forever to shoot a video, I swear. <laughs> so, um, this is still, by the time I dinked around and found my new paints, um, I picked out some colors. Not sure if these are the colors that I really want to use yet or not. Um, I think so. These are brand new. Ooh, this lime green is kind of cool. Um, but for some reason... 
I was drawn to these three. And I'm not sure if I'm just going to use these two. Um, I, I don't know yet. So we're going to play a little bit. And this is still wet. Not quite as wet as I would have liked it to be. Um, but we're going to go with it. So I think I'm going to go with the blue first. And I am going to get a little bit of rubbing alcohol and do kind of a cool technique. Okay, change of plans. I don't think I'm going to do the rubbing alcohol technique in this first one. I think I want to use up my varnish. This is a water-based varnish, and I've had it forever. <laughs> so I might as well use it up. And I think I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm just going to, for one thing, just put it all on there like that. And a little bit of varnish right to it. And I'm going to use um, just an old Walmart card just to get the first layer down. I think I'm going to need more paint, but we shall see. Can you hear the birds chirping out front? I'll back the neighbors playing with the sun, play ball with the sun. And I've got burger going because I'm in the mood for tacos tonight. Like I can hear all of that stuff going on in the back. Again, ooh, I like how this texture, the book pages are showing through. And I just want to get that first coat on. I'm messy. I don't like those lines. Maybe I do. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Stir my ground beef. And chop up my veggies. And then I think I'm going to come back and add a little bit of the turquoise. Let's see what happens. There. Ooh, I like that blue. I like it a lot. Okay, so I did add some of the light blue. And I let it dry. Um, now I'm debating on what to do. I'm deciding if I want to use some yellow um, or some of this apple tart green. I think I'm going to stick with the yellow because that's what I wanted to do before. And I've got this large bubble wrap. And I thought I would just take and brush on some gesso. For a little extra texture. And I've got my brush here. I don't know if you could see that or not. Let me scooch over a little bit. And I'm just going to brush it across some of the bubble wrap. I must have used this at one time when I did like um Peony papers, and I can't believe I still have it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just gonna add a little bit of texture. Well, not really. It's okay. Here. Let's try it again. Soften the blue a little bit. I think that wrap has seen better days. So let's see. Maybe I will try 
some of the smaller, more detailed. Not really. Well, not quite what I had planned. I need to think about this and come back. Okay, so I got this flyer in the mail. It is Lakeside Basin Harbor in Vermont. And I thought I could use the backgrounds um, for a little bit of extra color. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip up some of this for background and put that on top and see what happens. Okay, so I busted up that flyer. This is what's left of it. The only image that I saved is this rocking chair or these rocking chairs I'm gonna use that for something maybe not in this layout but for something so I've got all of these beautiful um, scenes of the sky and lakes and sunsets and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of these to this and I just dropped them all on the floor Maybe not all of them. Maybe that was something else. Okay. So, got my Mod Podge, my paintbrush, and I am just going to go ahead and start picking some scenes, I guess. Putting them down. I guess you wouldn't call these scenes. These are going to be the background. This is a little bit thicker magazine. So. It is. I'll take a little extra something. There we go. Wasn't feeling it over there. Here you can see some of the boats in the background. It's all going to get covered up with paint, anyways, because I'm not happy. With what I've done so far, I'm going to keep most of it, but um, i got to add something. So I'm thinking my next layer is going to be a pink instead. I'll see.
I don't have any texture paste right now, nor do I have baby powder to make any. So, I have to figure out what the next layer is going to be. And I will get back to you. I might do something before this tries. Who knows? Probably will. In fact, I'm going to. <laughs> All right, let's get this out of the way. Um, the only pink that I have is this light pink, and that is not going to work for me. <sighs> I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the yellow. Like I originally planned. Just see what happens. And we're just going to do the same thing. Blob it on there. It's probably a little too much, so we don't need as much varnish. This varnish is kind of watery because it's kind of old. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Get ready. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I know I've got a bright pink somewhere. But this yellow works. Perfect. Now, for sure, I'm going to let this dry because I'm going to take some sandpaper to it when I'm done. All right. Cool, cool, cool. It's getting there. Okay, so I did some digging and I found the speckling that I bought from the dollar store a long time ago. And I got a bowl, and what I thought was I could put some of this in here. It is really lightweight, almost like airy. So I don't know how well this is going to work. And then maybe add some of my gesso. I don't have any powder. And we'll see how this goes. Alone, I don't think the speckling stuff would cut it. Oh, hey, maybe I'm onto something here. Don't feel like running out and getting baby powder. This isn't as, it's pretty, still pretty lightweight. this Liquitex gesso, which isn't as thick as some of the other gesso I've had in the past. I should make my own. Okay, let's give this a shot. The other thing I thought about doing was making it blue, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. 
I have this stencil that I haven't used yet that I got from Stacy Evans, who is Pink Poodle Crafts here on YouTube. And I don't know how well this one's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Just gonna take some of this. I gotta stand up to do this. Okay. Ooh, okay. Not bad. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's giving it a little bit of a cool texture. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking that a lot. I am, I am. Texture in the middle here. Okay, I better stop. <laughs> yep, I'm good. Okay, I'm going to clean this off and let this dry. Now, this has to dry completely. Um, and, uh, we'll see, I might add a little bit more blue. So while this is drying, what I thought I would do, and I didn't explain before, was that when I was looking in the drawer for a plastic spoon, I found this chopstick. So that worked fine to stir this. Um, and I also found two cork, wine corks, that I thought I could alter and use it as like a charm or something. So, what I decided to do while I'm waiting for this to dry is I've emptied out this container. And put it in my bowl. And I'm going to add, I'm gonna set my book aside. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Mod Podge. Just a little bit and a little bit more just so. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna mix it and see how it does. Put it back in that container and um, next time I'm out and about I'll get some baby powder and then I'll just kind of doctor it up. But for now I figured this would work. So we'll just go ahead and put this right back in there. Looks like whipped cream, but it was definitely not. I don't know, maybe if it sits. I think when I when I get some baby powder and then the baby powder will make a huge difference. Um, 
I don't want to add any more liquid to it until I get the baby powder. There's so much air. Definitely needs more substance. Ooh, I could put like sand, maybe texture. Well, this bowl has now converted from a cereal bowl to a crafting bowl, crafting mixing bowl. <laughs> there. All right. I'll let you know how this works out. Like I said, next time I'm out and about, uh, which will be tomorrow, I will get some baby powder and add baby powder to it. That's that. This is now going to become texture piece once I get the right stuff. Okay. So I don't know how it's going to work if it's going to break off because it's pretty flaky. Um, I almost want to put a layer of Mod Podge on it but we're going to let it dry completely and then get back to it and see what happens. I'm pretty excited for this. It's looking really good. I think you all are going to think I'm crazy, um, but I'm going to add more blue. I can't find my sprays, um, so I'm just going to water down a little bit of blue and give it like a whitewash. Eeks. We're just gonna water it down right on our Teflon mat. areas. Alright, so the watered down blue is kind of a mistake. Um, I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> I should have used um, the varnish to water it down a little bit. Um, so I ended up going back with this and some of the turquoise and blended that in there. So it's looking a little bit better in my opinion, but I still need, I want to bring a little bit more of the yellow back and then I'm done. I'm not doing any sanding because it's flat enough. That texture paste that I made really didn't do a whole lot. I could feel a little bit, but I'm feeling pretty good about this piece. I can feel the energy. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to take, ooh, well, I'm going to take some varnish, I guess, a couple drops of varnish. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't. There we go. And I'm just going to take a toothbrush. And I want to add some splatters. They're subtle. I could see them, but you probably can't. It'll dip it in a little bit of water. Yeah, 
There we go. There we go. That's looking good. And I think I'm good with my first background. I love it. I am not going to add anything else to this, I promise. Now, I'm probably only going to do this once a week. I'm going to let this dry and clean my space up. And I'll probably start going through magazines in the next couple days. But tomorrow I want to do um, some memory keeping in my grandson's um, smash book. So thank you so much for coming along with me, you guys. This is a lot of fun. I miss this. I'm glad I've got a start to the new one. Um, I've got time to look for a focal point, And this, this part was the most fun for me, are the backgrounds. So take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.